Contemporary art is art made in the present time, usually by artists who are still alive. Contemporary art reflects the identity, community, and ideas of the artists who make it. Rafael Lopez is an artist and illustrator born in Mexico City, Mexico. The book, Maybe Something Beautiful, is based on the true story of how Lopez and the community transformed a San Diego neighborhood through murals, mosaics, and painted benches, turning the whole neighborhood into a work of art. Take out this handout of the Rafael Lopez shapes. These are common shapes that are found on a lot of his murals. And so just pick a few that you like, and we're going to put them right on our paper and just create a fun mural that resembles one of Rafael Lopez's murals. So I'm going to start right in the middle with that beautiful bird he did. Okay, now that we have our mural done, we're going to draw our subject or our person. So what I like to do is I put the second white piece of paper over the top, and I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want my person and how big I want them. So if this is a mural on the side of a wall, then they're probably going to be about half the size or a little bit bigger than half. So I'm going to start my head just right about in the middle. And then the one on neck. And don't worry, we're just going to sketch this out and then we're going to color over it. And then they're going to have 
some shoulders and some hands out to the side. And then we want to have a hand that comes up. And then they have some pants on. And some feet. Okay. And we can draw a hand here. And we want a paintbrush. In their hand. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now, I don't like how big my head is. I'm gonna erase that and <laughs> just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to just color this in with some either crayons or colored pencils, whatever you want to do. Once you have your person drawn, you're going to want to cut them out. to glue them onto your mural. So then, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to do a wavy line to show where your subject has already painted. So we're just going to do a wavy line right through there. just goes through there. 
Okay guys, now it's the watercolor portion of our project. What we're going to do is we're going to do a wet on wet technique. So first, we're going to get our brush wet in our water and we're going to paint the inside of the swirl. This is where we're going to have our paint. Now right on top of that, we're going to drop in some color. So I want you to paint with complementary colors. Now painting with complementary colors means that you're going to paint with colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. So I want you to just paint this whole area with a bunch of your complementary colors. And we're just gonna fill in this whole area with color. Get a lot of nice water on your brush to get some good color in there. Color's not bright enough yet. There, now it's starting to get bright. And just keep right inside those lines that you paint, that you drew. There we go, and we're finished with our project. Make sure that you sign it. I hope you guys enjoyed painting this today. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye.